Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS on Lost Ark. I did a guide uh, last year, but a couple of stuff changed in the game. For an example, the API. Now the game is running in DirectX 11. Also, you have the choice between 11 or 9. It will really depend on your computer. If you have a very old computer, I will re still recommend to use DirectX 9. But if you have something like five years old or more recent, just go with DirectX 11. It's a lot better, better for visual, but also better for your FPS when a lot of stuff is moving in, on your monitor. It will help you a lot. So we're gonna start with the optimization of Windows for the game. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So right game mode, make sure that game mode is at on. You really want to use that for the past six months. It's been great, really cool for tasks. You're gonna make sure that uh, Windows will prioritize all the resources of your computer to uh, maximize your game so super important to put this one at on i still recommend to disable the xbox game bar a lot of issue with it stuttering crashes and stuff like that it's really bad with DirectX uh, 9 or even 11 games uh, sometimes it's it's pretty good with direct x 12 game but i still don't recommend to use it so just disable it for the capture make sure that your capture background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off I also recommend to use, uh, if you have like an, an NVIDIA car, 1000 series or more recent, you will have something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. To see that option, you need to write graphics setting in your search. And after that, you will need to activate it like this and restart your computer. Um, it really helps with bottleneck. So you can expect a nice 3 to 5% boost in your FPS. If you have a GPU like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060 or a 2060, uh, if you have something more powerful than that, you will not necessarily see the difference when you will enable it. I also recommend to you update your driver. Lost Ark just launched. It's a proper game, a very popular game. So uh, the driver from AMD and NVIDIA, they have dedicated driver for this game. You can expect a high 5 to 10% boost in your FPS. Also, it will help with crash and stability and stuff like that. So super important to just update your graphic driver and always restart your computer when you do it. Another thing that I recommend is write energy in your uh, search. Go to your power option and make sure that you run something like balance or high performance. Uh, you will not have this issue if you are on a desktop computer, but a lot of people are playing on a laptop. And sometimes with the laptop, when you plug in the wall and you unplug and you plug it back, sometimes it will stay at power saver or another mode to um, to uh, help your battery, but your plug in the wall. So when you plug your computer in the wall, you wanna make sure that you use the maximum resources of it. So super important to use high performance or balance, depending on whatever you need. Uh, you can also benchmark because sometimes balance a little bit better for your temp and you're getting much stronger boost on your CPU and GPU. So sometimes balance, it's, balance, it's even better than high performance. So this is pretty much it for hit. Uh, also, I have a dedicated guy on how to overclock your GPU and CPU on my uh, channel. So just look at them. Uh, you can expect a nice 3% to 15% boost in your FPS. It will really depend on your component, the type of your computer that you have, your thermals. So a lot of variable, but still you can improve it. So one more thing that you can do because it's a direct X11 game and uh, you can optimize it. Right click on it on the, your game on Steam, go to Properties, go to Local File, go to Browse. After that, click on Binaries, Windows 64. You will have an EXE game here. Right click on Lost Ark, go to Properties, go to Compatibility. Make sure that Disable Full Screen Optimization is checked. And after that, go to Change IDPI Scaling and make sure that Override IDPI Scaling is checked. Press OK, press OK. And now you can boot your game. So now the graphic parameter. So the first option that's pretty new for us is the DirectX setting. So you can choose uh, two different API, DirectX 9, DirectX 11. Honestly, if you have a computer that's older than five years, definitely do, do some tests because sometimes it will be a little bit better in DirectX 11 or sometimes it will be better in 9 if your video card is very old. So just do some tests. But if you have something more recent, just go with DirectX 11. First of all, visual will be better. And second of all, FPS also will be better. 
so it's a no-brainer to use DirectX 11 in this game. And DirectX 11 really perform when you, you will have a lot of action in your uh, monitor, so a lot of like mob fighting and stuff, you will gain a lot of FPS if you compare it with DirectX 9. After that, for the resolution, make sure that you're playing your native one. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. Don't uh, downscale your uh, resolution here. Uh, you will, uh, your image will look blurry and it's not good to do that. For screen, I really recommend uh, full screen. I did a couple of tests with window and borderless. Borderless, sometimes I'm getting stuttering, so I'm not a huge fan of it. So make sure that you're playing full screen. I know it's pain in the ass when you alt tab, but uh, still, uh, it's the best way to have the most of FPS. Uh, the aspect ratio, you can force it if you want. You will have more field of view, as you can see here, but you will have a black horizontal bar. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do, if you like that or not, if you want more field of view or you just want to play full screen. For sure, if you have like a 21 by 9 monitor, just go with it. But if you have 16 by 9 like me, it's a question of preference. Uh, brightness, I'm not touching it. After that, texture quality, make sure that uh, you're using the proper one. It's uh, depending on the amount of VRAM that you have on your video card. If you have 6 gig and more of VRAM, go with very high. If you have uh, 4 gig, go with high, 3 gig, medium. And if you have less than 3 gig, go with low. After that, for the shadow quality, uh, you have four different parameters here. Uh, if I compare very high to low, you can expect a nice 15% boost in your FPS. This is the most important pa graphic parameter in this game. The only thing is at low, the game looks a little bit flat. So I recommend medium if you want a decent visual. Um, and at medium, you will like gain 11 to 12% in your FPS. So it's, it's a good compromise with visual quality and a boost in your FPS. Quality, uh, character quality, this one is a little bit better. Uh, if you have a low-end computer, you can definitely go with medium. But for the majority of us, you can go high or very high. Not a huge uh, uh, effect on your FPS. I, if I compare very high to low, you have a difference of 5% in your FPS. So definitely, you can go high or medium with this one. Particle quality, this one will have a huge impact when you're fighting. So if you're getting some huge drop in your FPS when you're fighting in this game, it's probably because of your particle quality. So I recommend to go with low or medium. Honestly, me, I go to low because I really don't care about my particle quality. But again, if you want a little bit more uh, visual quality, you can definitely go at medium. Uh, when you go high and very high, those ones are kind of like taxing your um, your resources, your computer. Uh, if I compare very high to low, I can you can expect a nice 11% boost in your FPS. So definitely go with something low or medium with this one. And TLE Zing, you have two different options. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, the high option, I feel like my game is a lot blurry. Uh, so I just removing it. First of all, you're going to get more FPS and also your image will be more clearer. But if you don't like aliasing when you're playing, when you look at foliage and stuff like that, you can definitely go with low. Uh, it will smooth a little bit your image and it, it will not be as blurry than I. So if you don't like the fact that you don't have anti-aliasing, just go with low. Better the above field, just uncheck this. And direct shadow, uncheck. This one will give you 3% boost in your FPS. After that, you have those uh, post-processing FX advanced setting option. You have four different one. I just uncheck all of them. It's not a huge FPS boost. It's like four to five percent, but it's uh it's it's good for your image clarity. So you don't have some crazy effect when you're playing the game. Everything is clear. So that's why I'm not using them. I know a couple of people like to have some effects. So if you like, you want graphics, good graphic setting for a nice visual. Go with Bloom, Distortion, and Flare, but don't use the Motion Blur. You don't want to use this effect on any PC game. And after that, you have the HUD size. It doesn't change anything to your FPS. Uh, if you feel like your HUD is a little bit too small, go a little bit higher. If you feel like it's taking too much space on your monitor, you can definitely go lower for this one. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide for Lost Ark. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig. So CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.